more updates in regard to the perils of fracking here in the Midwest coastal region of West Australia. Uh, we are now in the process of contacting all mining companies and advising them that the process of fracking presents an undeniable public health threat. Uh, the environmental perils are proven beyond any measure of doubt and they are called upon to recognise this clear and present danger. We advise them that any further attempts to marginalise, obfuscate, dismiss or trivialise this clear and present danger will constitute criminal negligence and deliberate genocide. In other words, fracking is a crime against humanity of the most of the greatest magnitude. We have advised them that our house to house survey has universally rejected the toxic industry of fracking and declared unwavering resolute opposition. The survey has been officially endorsed for its legitimacy, its impartiality and its validity and is thereby uh, asserted as lawful standing as the overwhelming majority community will. The eco-terrorism of fracking is unreservedly and permanently denied social license in this region, in the state of West Australia, in the nation and throughout the world. Accordingly, any permissions, contracts or mining licenses that have been unlawfully granted by the private corporation trading with the Government of Western Australia are null and void. They have been issued without the informed consent and against the prevailing will and the determined opposition of this community and the wider WA populace. This treasonous private corporation has perverted the rule of statute law into an instrument of plunder and will be held accountable in the International Tribunal of International Justice. Under prevailing common law, the people are the rightful owners of all natural resources and subsequently deny any permission for the environmental ruinous fracking mining activities. As I've mentioned before, globally anti-fracking groups now comprise the fastest growing social movement in human history and it's gathering strength and impetus by the hour. We are advising mining companies that their details are circulated um, to environmentally aware groups and shareholders, and we are requesting them to withdraw investment from this unlawful criminal insanity. Fracking will compel, uh, ultimately, history's most massive and far-reaching multiple class action lawsuits, including crimes against humanity and genocide. Vigorous and unrelenting legal redress will not target mining companies or corporate government bodies, but will evoke concentrated focus upon culpable and blameworthy individuals. Mining companies are therefore directed by this and the global community to acknowledge the majority position opposed to the ecocidal fracking operations in this region and elsewhere. This is the non-negotiable majority position that they are expressly instructed to adopt. It's not a request, it is a lawfully binding direction from a steadfast community majority. The Dan Darrigan Shire Council has been expressly directed by the majority electorate to enforce an absolute non-negotiable policy of non-acceptance of toxic fracking waste products at recycling stations in the Shire. Consequently, all proposed fracking operations are illegal and unconditionally prohibited. We have submitted this in a registered mail to the uh, Shire of Dandarrigan.
and are awaiting uh, a response. We have registered our outrage that there have been no mandatory baseline studies of water quality in areas that are threatened by proposed fracking operations. Deeper concerns pertain to the total and unforgivable absence of comprehensive risk assessment and dependable impact studies. Now we have requested that these points are responded to in writing in a timely manner. At the time of this uh, putting this program together, the price of oil has dropped to the regions of $44 a barrel. In order for fracking operations to be viable, it requires to be around the region of 76. This then begs the ominous question, why is this toxic industry being so vigorously pursued when it is Un, it's an unrequired product, and as the business model, it is manifestly untenable. Go figure. People are describing government and industry as a vampire squid with its blood funnel stuck into the heart of humanity. What we are facing here is nothing short of spiritual warfare. Uh, at the AV6 conference, one of the noteworthy speakers compared what is happening at the moment to gathering up a massive shoal of fish in a huge net, wherein all the fish in the centre know something is dreadfully wrong, but they can't see what it is. Now, only those at the periphery are aware of the dangers, and these can be seen in many facets. Well, the dangers are real and the net is closing in. And fracking is only one aspect of this insidious assault upon humanity. This concludes this bulletin, so thank you for your work.